again the time was up why okay so the answer will be 93.17 degree that was the that was the angle between two vectors 93.17 all right, we move to we move to next questions. What does it say here? The position vector of point A is 2i plus 3j plus k. The position vector of point B is position vector means from the origin. So when they say position vector, then you write OA is equal to 2i plus 3j plus k. And the other one, position vector of B, when they say position vector, then you write OB. That makes 4i minus 5j plus 21k. The question is, what is ab? Show that ab is this. How will I find ab by using these two vectors? So ab will be equal to ao plus ob. How will I know that? Last letter, first letter, the same. The um, final vector is ab. So do I know AO? No, but I know OA. AO and OA are opposite vectors. Then the AO will be negative 2i plus 3j plus k, then plus OB. OB is 4i minus 5j plus 21k. So that makes, let's distribute negative inside, negative 2i negative 3j negative k plus 4i minus 5j plus 21k. So what is the result? Negative 2i, 4i, that makes 2i. Negative 3j, negative 5j, negative 8j, negative k, 21k, positive 20k. So ab is equal to, we proved that it is equal to the same. Find the cosine angle between the two vectors. So, okay, then what is it? Um, let's say that this is vector u, and let's say that this is vector v. Then uh, how will I find it? Vector u times vector v, uh, magnitude of u times magnitude of v times cosine theta, the same formula we use. So then I will multiply the uh, coefficient of the same component. So scalar product, 3 times 4 plus j, 4 times negative 5 plus k, 5 times negative 3. What is the magnitude of u? Square root, 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square times uh, magnitude of v, 4 square plus negative 5 square plus negative 3 square times cosine theta. Let's calculate them. That makes 12 minus 20 minus 15 is equal to, that makes um, uh, 9 plus... 9 plus uh, 16 plus 25, that makes 50, that makes root 50 times root uh, 4 square, 16 plus 25 plus 9, that makes root 50 times cosine theta. So here that makes negative 8, negative 23 divided by root 50 times root 50 is equal to cosine theta. So that makes negative 23 divided by 50, shift cosine. The answer will be 117.39, 117.39 degree. All right, let's move on to the next question. Consider the vectors u is this, v is that, and find 2u minus 3v. So what is 2u? All right, 2 times... 3i plus 3j minus k minus 3v, 3 times 4i plus j minus 2k. Okay, so we just multiply with 2 and 3. Distribute in the bracket 4i plus 6j minus 2k minus 12i minus 3j plus, plus 6k. Isn't it negative, negative, positive? 4i negative 2i negative 8i 6j negative 3j plus 3j negative 2k 6k plus 4k so this is the final answer which one of the following vectors are parallel if vector u is parallel to vector v it means that u is equal to k times v so um, now 
2i 4i 3j 6j minus k3 okay if i multiply u by 2 if i multiply it by 2 what would be the result 4i plus 6j minus 2k but this is minus 3k so this is not parallel what about here uh, if you look at the coefficients carefully i 3 1 3 2 6 3 9 it is like kind of three times if I multiply u by 3, 3 times i minus 2j plus 3k, so I will get v, isn't it? 3i negative 6j positive 9k. So it means that vector v is equal to 3 times vector u, which means they are parallel.